may appear as a normal call from your mom or another family member, but when you answer it, an unknown person is asking for money to free your loved one. Rachel Allen says it was one of the most horrifying situations for her mother. It was just another day of teaching at UNLV for Rachel Allen when out of nowhere, she received an urgent message. Your mom thinks that you've been kidnapped. Her mother's co-workers Hello? called to let her know her mom received a call from a stranger telling her that her daughter had been kidnapped. She says it was one of the most terrifying moments of her mother's life. She said that she just kept hearing this girl screaming like, Mom, help me, Mom, help me. Allen says her mother heard a voice that sounded just like hers. <laughs> the scammers demanding thousands of dollars in ransom. She became really distraught and would do anything to to get me back. The number came from a 702 area code. Her mother was just about to meet up with the scammer to give them the money when Alan called her, letting her know she was safe. I couldn't imagine if it was a situation where I lived in a different state than my parents and how they would have reacted and then trying to get into contact with me. Former special agent in charge of the Las Vegas FBI, Aaron Roos, says it could happen to anyone. They're contacting you from a phone other than your loved one's phone that they can't describe uh, basic things about your uh, your loved one, like a description. Ruth says, if you plan on traveling, don't tell people in advance. Provide loved ones with a passphrase or code word in the case of an emergency to verify it's you and never provide financial information over the phone. These people are using a scam, essentially, because you've po posted on social media that you're out there, you're traveling, you're in another country. A lesson Alan learned the hard way. What if it had been a real situation? I can't imagine being in her shoes and the distress that she felt. And to help determine if a call is a scam, ask to speak to your loved one directly. And if they say no, ask them to describe your loved one in detail. Experts say while you are asking these questions, try to contact this family member either through text or social media. I'm Abel Garcia reporting from studio.